Hi, first grade. The story that we're going to read today is called Creep, Crawl, Fly. They're poems about bugs. You might recognize some of these stories in the book. Let's see what the first one is. Uh, here on the first page is called the uh, Table of Contents. Uh, this is listed in the first page in the book. It tells you which story is uh, on what page. So the first page is Itsy Bitsy Spider. If you know the Itsy Bitsy Spider, you can say it along with me. There's also motions to go with it. Maybe you know those too. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Um, you can also say this story in Spanish if you would like to look up um, with a parent on YouTube how to say the itsy bitsy spider in Spanish. You can do that. The next story is called A Caterpillar Crawled. A caterpillar crawled up Called, crawled to the top of a tree. I think I'll take a nap right here, said he. He crawled under a leaf and without a peep, spun his cocoon and fell asleep. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice that the caterpillar is camouflaging himself with the, the leaves around him. Maybe you notice that this picture is also the same as the cover page. Our next story is called The Big Black Bug. The big black bug bit the big black bear. But the big black bear bit the big black bug back. This is kind of a tongue twister, which means these words start with the same letter. What letter do these words all start with? B. Let's try and say it faster. The big black bug. The big black bug bit the big black bear. But the big black bear bit the big black bug back. The next one is called Bugs and Hugs. I wonder if a bug ever needs a hug. I see them here and there and wonder if they care. They often look so lonely that it makes me think if only. I could give some bugs a hug. They would feel so nice and snug. And here is a picture. Do you think you would enjoy giving a bug a hug? Okay, we are going to stop there. I hope you enjoyed reading some poems about bugs. And um, next week we'll find out what the rest of the poems are.